Is this the video that proves a conspiracy to kill JFK? Well, it's the 50th anniversary of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. And while many of you will be familiar with the Zapruder film, this less known footage has still caused enduring debate for years. With the question being asked, was there a Secret Service stand-down order in the moments immediately prior to the assassination of JFK. This is Secret Service agent Don Lawton, and over here sat in the vehicle behind President Kennedy's vehicle, as it turns into Dealey Plaza, is the guy who was in command of him, Secret Service agent Emery Roberts. First watch the left-hand side of your screen coming up. Watch Roberts. He appears to beckon Lawton away from the vehicle. Gives him a hand sign right there. Play that again. Watch Roberts give him the hand signal to back away from President Kennedy's vehicle. Right here, there. See it again one more time. There. Okay. Now watch the reaction of Lawton, the Secret Service individual, who is apparently following this order to back away from President Kennedy's car. Gets the order there, shrugs his shoulders three times, holds his arm out, seemingly perplexed at the order given by Emery Roberts to back away from the vehicle. See it again. And if you'll notice, the other people in the Secret Service vehicle also seem somewhat perplexed that this order to apparently stand down back away from the vehicle has been given. Now watch their reaction as Lawton expresses his amazement. Does this represent a Secret Service stand down order to back away from President Kennedy's car? in order to ensure that he had no human shield, no bodyguard, and therefore making it far more likelier that the assassin, whoever that was, was able to get a direct, clear shot on the president. Here we see Lawton stood in what would normally be considered routine operating procedure, his position to the rear right of the vehicle in which President Kennedy sits, this was photographed four days before in Tampa. So there you see Lawton riding on the back of the vehicle in an open top car as Kennedy travels through Tampa. And as this illustration depicts, if the two Secret Service agents had been riding in their usual position to the rear of the presidential vehicle, then the assassin, if the shot was coming from behind, according to the official story, would not have had anywhere near as clear a shot onto Kennedy. In fact, if Lawton had been in position, he would have probably been hit by the bullet, at least the first bullet, if you believe it was fired from the school book depository by Lee Harvey Oswald. Besides the question of who fired the bullet, there's no doubt that those bodyguards would have made it more difficult for an assassin to target President Kennedy. Yet, they weren't in the correct position, as we saw before with the Tampa photo, as well as these photos here. There's a platform and a handrail where the Secret Service agent would normally ride on the back of the vehicle for the security of the President. When JFK was assassinated, literally seconds beforehand, that protection evaporated as the Secret Service agents, Lawton and Clint Hill, seen here on the left, were apparently told to stand down, much to the amazement of Lawton himself and the other people in the vehicle. And here you see the um, platform on the back of the vehicle and the handrail where the Secret Service agents would normally stand. So how did the Secret Service members who were there at that moment 
respond to these allegations that they were involved in some kind of stand down order which left the president open to be assassinated. Well, Clint Hill, who of course appeared in the infamous Zapruder footage here, reaching out to Jackie Kennedy, he was on the left backside of the uh, presidential vehicle. He retreated to the Secret Service car just before Don Lawton did. He appeared on C-SPAN last month, and this is the explanation he gave for the charge that the Secret Service were involved in a stand-down order and that Lawton was told in the footage we just saw to back away from the vehicle. As you watch this scene for the final time, ask yourself, is this the kind of conduct you would expect from an agency that routinely sends an advance team to a city a month or more prior to the president's arrival in order to make preparations? Mr. Hill, yes. <laughs> I'd be glad to comment on that. I was the agent on the left rear outside running alongside the car. The agent on the right rear working the car, the right rear at that time is an agent named Don Lawton. Don Lawton's assignment that day was not to ride in the follow-up car. His assignment to, was to remain at Love Field and handle our return, secure the airport for us when we came back. We were going to fly on to Austin, Texas. And what he was doing was, when he came back off the car, he was saying, okay, you guys, I'm going to lunch. Have a good trip. I talked to him within the last month, and he reiterated to me the same thing again. That's exactly what he was doing just making a gesture to us in the follow-up car. See ya. I'm going to lunch. Have a good trip. <laughs> so Clint Hill basically says that it had been part of the plan all along for Lawton, seen here on the right, to go off duty and leave the presidential vehicle. He said he was going off to lunch. Have a nice day. Seems rather dubious if you analyze the body language of Lawton himself. He shrugs his shoulders three times and holds both his arms out as if asking a question or expressing his amazement at what he's just been ordered to do. Is this a guy that's simply saying, right, I'm going off duty, I'm going to have my lunch, see you later. He shrugs his shoulders three times, takes another look back, looks at his boss, Emery Roberts, who's just ordered him to back away from the vehicle. Now, this is a, a procedure whereby Secret Service agents visit the location weeks in advance, get everything down to a fine art detail. Does this look like it was carefully planned? Or does it look like it was a spur-of-the-moment order that caused consternation and baffled Lawton himself when the order to back away was given? In a book entitled The Kennedy Detail, JFK's Secret Service agents break their silence. The Secret Service agents involved on the day attack the, quote, conspiracy theorists who claim that they were given a stand-down order or they executed a stand-down order to back away from the presidential vehicle by claiming that JFK himself, four days before, told them that in order to be more accessible to the people, and in order to not portray a heavy-handed security, he gave the order for the Secret Service to back away from the vehicle, and that this order was put into place on November 22nd, 1963, in Dealey Plaza. But that's not the case according to Congressman Sam Gibbons, who said that, I rode every time with JFK, he never gave such an order. And here we see him riding in Tampa four days before, with JFK, there's Don Lawton, the Secret Service agent, at the rear of the vehicle, right-hand side, where he should have been, according to, quote, conspiracy theorists, on the day of the assassination, but was apparently ordered to back away. So Gibbon said JFK never gave such an order for the Secret Service agents to back away from the vehicle. And you see here, Tampa again, four days before, they're very much in position where they weren't on the day of November 22nd, 1963, when JFK was assassinated. So that's basically the outline of it. There's a ton more evidence. There's an excellent article here by SOTT.net, which I'll link in the description. But that's the outline of the 
conspiracy theory that the Secret Service agents were ordered to stand down on the day of the assassination of JFK. So what do you think? Is this the guy who's suddenly just going off duty moments before Kennedy takes a bullet to the head? Just gonna go and have my lunch, see you later. Or is it a deliberate stand-down order given by Emery Roberts here where he orders Lawton to back away from the vehicle? It's a debate that's raged for years on both sides. The official narrative backers say that it's just a fantasy of conspiracy theorists who have hit back and said that basically the evidence is right there in the video. Lawton is seen in previous examples, Tampa four days before, riding on the back of the vehicle. Uh, Congressman Gibbons said that JFK did not give the order for him to stand down at any other previous time. And yet here we see it literally seconds before President Kennedy is assassinated. Is this proof of a Secret Service stand down? Let me know in the comments below. Check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash prison planet. I'm Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.